have officially been living in Japan for over a month now. Before I moved to Japan, a lot of people were concerned or、um, gave me a lot of negative feedback as to why I wanted to move to Japan and blah blah blah. And one of the things that I heard a lot was like, oh, why do you want to go there? All the guys are so perverted. Japan has like vending machines with used underwear, whorehouses everywhere.、Oh, I've never even seen these vending machines people keep talking about. I've officially been here a month. I've not discovered every inch of Tokyo, but it's long enough for me to have an opinion on the subject. And well, I'm gonna talk about the perfs in Japan. I wanna say that、um, this is totally my opinion, this is how I see it, what I've lived through in the whole four weeks I've been here, because you know, it's a long time. And I want to say, I don't know what the fuck people were talking about. It's the, all the places that I've been to, I know I haven't been exactly like all around the world or anything, but the time that I've even been here in Japan, I gotta say, it has the most respectful people I've ever met. Not once since I moved here have I ever felt like a stranger would make me want to punch them in the face. Let me tell you this quick story. I got up super early to go watch the Super Bowl because my baby Hawks were playing. And well, I got up at 6 in the morning to then ride the subway, and I had to take two subways to go all the way to this one bar that was playing the game. And it was during school, too. So it was on the Monday, my time, Sunday for everyone else. Lucky bastard. Subway was. Packed. There was no space to breathe. Everything, everyone was jammed. And at one point, the doors opened. Nobody got off the subway. But we had to get on the subway. So we just kind of like jammed in there. And nobody says anything. Everybody stays quiet. And we just kind of all like squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And that, I thought, like, oh, this is probably what people are talking about. This is where all the perfs come out. Nothing. People were silent. They dig their fit. Like, this is people in the subway. No joke. Nobody, nobody pays attention to anybody else. And if they talk to somebody else, it's because they were there with them. But they hardly ever strike conversations with strangers. And not only that, but we were really close. Like, I could feel someone. It was kind of gross because he was sick, so I could hear him breathing. Right on my neck. But it wasn't malicious. It wasn't like he was trying to be a perv and kiss my neck or anything. Nobody was disrespectful, and even though they could have gone away with it, they didn't. I didn't see a single Japanese man try to touch inappropriately another female in the subway because he could get away with it because we were all packed in there like sardines. Did not happen. The only thing I would complain about the subway is that, you know, when it takes off, everybody just kind of like moves and all their weight falls on me. And I'm like, engage your core. Just,、ah. So, Japanese cell phones all have this thing where if you take a picture, no matter what, the, the volume, even if you have it on mute or on low, will be super loud. And that is because. It keeps from、um, guys taking pictures of girls underneath their skirts and what's not.、Um, some people would mention this to me prior to moving here, and it is true that the phones do have this. I think it's more、uh, like to prevent people from doing it, not necessarily because Japan got to a point where it was super perverted that they had to do that, and the government's like, no other phones are allowed. I think it's more like、uh, let's just prevent it so, in case it happens, those people will be so busted. And they have this thing here in Japan where if a man is accused of、uh, sexually assaulting a female or, or doing whatever, that he will be in serious problems. Japan does not take those things lightly. Unlike the United States, where a man could be accused by 
30 different women and they still think it's the girl's fault. Among other things, I noticed that Japan is actually a really safe place to live in. I don't know if you guys remember, but whenever I felt stress, um, especially after school or after committee, I would go back to the gym at night and I would just do a quick run, nothing crazy or anything, but it helped me really stress. And uh, while being here in Japan, I actually don't have a gym membership, but there is this trail behind the campus, or not the campus, behind the dorm. And at night, after I'm done with my entire day, when it's dark out and it's, it's like around 9 p.m., I go for my run and I never worry. I never feel like I'm gonna be mugged. I never feel like someone might attack me. In fact, I feel like I could leave my wallet up there and when I return back from my run, it would still be out there. I feel like people are wrong when they say that Japan is full of perverts debunking the whole you shouldn't move to Japan because there's lots of perverts or aren't you afraid to be in that country by yourself? Win, win, win. Yeah, that's that's my presentation of those people. Even this weekend, I actually went out with a few friends and I went to a club and it was my first club here in Japan. I think the people that were out there in the club, like like predators were probably other international students but definitely not the Japanese guys in other news um, this weekend is actually Valentine's Day totally forgotten about it until someone mentioned it to me and I was like oh that's this weekend oh, oh. Oh well, um, but yeah, anyways, miss you guys, love you. I got a care package from a family, and thank you, my face feels so much better now. And, um, I can't wait to see you guys. Miss you, family.